So after months and months of being in beta mode, DaVinci Resolve 18.5 is now live and available in either the free version or the paid studio version, which is the version that I'm using. And as with any new release of DaVinci Resolve, it is just jam packed with so many features. And obviously I won't be able to go over all the features. So I'm just going to be highlighting the features that I think are going to be important, especially for content creators. Now, before I get into this features, I will say that I am using the DaVinci Resolve studio version. So this is the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. And so if you are using the free version, some of these things that I talk about might not be available. And so you definitely want to check and make sure whether or not you're using the free or studio version. So with all that said, let's go ahead and take a look at these new features. So let's start off with the first feature that I think is going to be really useful for those creators who actually want to create thumbnails from images in their video. So say for example, you had a portion of your video that you think would make a great thumbnail or background, and you actually want to save this as an image. Well, you could now do this in the edit page and it's kind of buried under these menu options, but it's up here under file, then export, then current frame as still. So when you do that, it export it as a JPEG file and you could choose wherever you want to put it. So we'll just name this clip and you export it and then just go to the folder and there it is. You actually have your image generated from a still in your video. So about the only drawback in this is it's buried under this file option. I wish it was a lot easier to access, like maybe right click here on your clip among these other options here. So hopefully they do that in the future, but right now that's actually how you could generate a frame from your video. And so this next feature is one that I'm so happy that they finally put in DaVinci Resolve. And it's one that you might not know is important until you start using DaVinci Resolve a lot. And that is the ability to manage and delete your render cache. And so if you are brand new to DaVinci Resolve, it does produce these render cache files. And these things take up a lot of space over time. And so before I would actually have to manually go into that folder or only be able to manage a uh, render cache for that specific project. But now you could do it all here in DaVinci Resolve. So if you go here to your playback, delete render cache, you could go to manage cache data. And when you do that, you could see all the files in your render cache, and then you could choose the ones you want to remove. That makes it really awesome. Or if you wanted to, you could actually delete all your render cache, unused or selected clips. So really awesome features to have, and this is gonna save you a lot of space over time. And so this third feature is gonna be really useful if your video had a lot of background noise and it makes it hard for you to hear your voice. So in this case, they've added a new feature called voice isolation. So in Fairlight, if you go here to your three dots and make sure your track effects is on, you see a new option here called voice isolation. So if you go to your settings, you could turn voice isolation on and you could control the amount of voice isolation that you have. So in this case, it's only gonna isolate it to your voice. And so this does a really great job in eliminating a lot of the background noise that is not your voice. So really super handy feature, especially if you're someone like myself who shoots a lot of videos outside. And so the number two feature is one that I've never used before, but I think it's pretty awesome. And it allows you to do audio text editing. And I know that sounds really weird, but let me show you what I mean by that, because it is a feature called transcribe audio. So if you go up here to your clips and then you right click, there's an option now called audio transcription. And then if you click on transcribe, it actually transcribe all the text in this clip. But what's really cool is you could actually highlight different portions of your clip just by using the text. And there's a lot more that you could do with this. You could just highlight certain portions of your clip that you want to add by text. Uh, you could mark it. There's so many options here. And at the same time, it transcribes everything. So that's a really powerful feature. And this is very similar to the number one feature that we have in 18.5. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so my number one feature in DaVinci Resolve 18.5 is automatic subtitles. 
This is such an awesome feature because if you actually had to do subtitles, it takes a lot of time, especially if you have a lot of clips in your video. And if you are somebody who actually pays people to do your subtitles or transcriptions, this will also save you a lot of money. And the way you do this is you go up here to your timeline and then you choose create subtitles from audio and then DaVinci Resolve is going to generate all your subtitles here and there are other things that you could do here as well with the subtitles but the simple fact that DaVinci Resolve does all of this automatically through its AI tools is just really really awesome and it's only going to get better over time and so those are my top five new features in DaVinci Resolve 18.5 and this is just a very small sample of all the new features they provided in this release and with every single version of DaVinci Resolve I am simply blown away by not just the amount of features but also the usefulness of all these features whether you are a beginner video editor or a professional DaVinci Resolve really offers you everything that you would want and then some. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other features that you enjoy using, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, tips, and tricks, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode.